on the 10th of April 2019, pictures of a supermassive black hole were broadcast throughout the world. Is it possible that in those pictures we may have seen for the very first time the face of God? I am David Ash, a freelance physicist, and my belief that there is a link between black holes and God comes from Albert Einstein's equation E equals mc squared. This groundbreaking equation tells us that mass is just a form of energy. In my new Vortex Physics, published in Awaken, I have been able to show how energy forms mass through spin. From my perspective, subatomic particles are not material entities. They are whirlpools of light. For over 50 years, I have researched particles of matter as vortices of energy, and I have realized that through spin, they set up an illusion of material substance. Materialism is the ultimate spin. We have been deluded by it. Furthermore, I discovered that vortex particles of energy do not just occupy space as material particles would, they also set up space. This is very important in understanding black holes. The vortex physics shows that space is an extension of vortex energy beyond our perception of matter. One vortex particle sets up space for another to occupy vice versa. This enables vortex particles of matter to overlay each other without restriction, which is how black holes form. In a black hole, subatomic vortex particles overlay each other ad infinitum until they form a single supermassive vortex of energy. In the case of the mighty black hole we have just seen, the vortex is bigger than our solar system, and it has the mass of billions of stars. The relationship of a black hole to God comes from the question of how a vortex of energy can exist if there is nothing spinning. Energy can form mass, but of itself it has no mass, it has no substance. This means that a quantum particle of energy is not anything acting. It is a particle of pure action, and that idea is a problem to comprehend. But there is a simple solution to this quantum conundrum. Action where nothing exists to act is abstract. Therefore, quantum particles of energy appear to be more like thoughts than things. And to many quantum physicists, the universe appears to be more akin to a mind than a machine. To quote the astrophysicist Sir James Jeans from his book, The Mysterious Universe, and I quote, Today there is a wide measure of agreement that the stream of knowledge is heading toward a non-mechanical reality. The universe begins to look more like a great thought than a great machine, Mind no longer appears as an accidental intruder into the realm of matter. We are beginning to suspect that we ought rather to hail it as the creator and the governor of the realm of matter. If quantum particles of energy are more like thoughts than things, then they could be described as particles of intelligence. It follows that a concentration of intelligence could be a consequence of a concentration of energy. Black holes are the greatest concentrations of energy known in the universe. Therefore, they could be considered to be the greatest centers of intelligence overall. Which is what some people who believe in God imagine God to be. Believers also describe God as almighty, and there is no doubt that the black hole recently seen in galaxy M87 is the mightiest object ever observed, 
weighing in at a mass of 6.5 billion times that of the Sun. Stephen Hawking established that black holes can store information, not internally but peripherally, which fits with the idea of God being a repository of information, the all-knowing one. The idea of God being peace at heart would fit with there being no activity in the singularity eye of the hurricane of vortex energy. Then there is the idea of God being light. The halo of light around the black hole, we have been recently privileged to see, is brighter than the light coming from all the other stars in the galaxy. The black hole also fits with the idea of God being in control of things, because the enormous gravity of a black hole has a controlling influence on all the billions of stars in the galaxies swirling around it. This is not to say that the black hole in galaxy M87 is God per se, but it certainly has features attributed to God. All galaxies have a black hole at their centre, could it be that each of these black holes has a godlike influence over the galaxy of stars that surrounds it? And could it be that the black hole at the centre of our own galaxy has a far-reaching influence on us, even to the core of our own being? We are in awe of amazing scientific breakthroughs. But due to the rapid advance of science and technology, we are living in bewildering times. We are in an age of colossal change and upheaval. The old material structures and ideologies are falling away, leaving some of us with a sense of hopelessness for the future. Non-materialistic approaches to science, on the other hand, offer hope for our species as they reconcile mysticism and matter, the superphysical with the physical. And most importantly, they show us how we can attain the more beautiful world we all know is possible. I am but one voice in many now challenging materialistic science. If you would like to hear more, listen to my preview podcasts over the next few weeks, which will then be followed by 50 podcasts taken from the seven books under the one cover in Awaken, which are uploaded on my SoundCloud page. If you want a copy of Awaken to read, it is available through Amazon, and please pass my podcast links on to others. Thank you for listening.